Applications of computer use, this is what we're talking about now, so we've actually moved away from software and we're looking at computers and society. Now, just to warn you that I've never seen a question come up on this topic in the past papers that I've trawled through. That's not to say it can't come up or won't come up. In fact, it make a really good long answer questions. But even if it doesn't, it's really worth having to think about this because um, you, you've grown up in a digital age, but you've got to consider all the aspects around that and the fact that it, it wasn't always like this. <laughs> so if you do look, think about the modern lifestyle and also think about other societies, be they rural or underprivileged societies, uh, second world, third world, wh however you want to look at that, and, and think about the, um, uh, the aspects of technology that are accessible to people that are not accessible to people then, and what does that mean? Um, and then you've got to think about y your own life and the uh, life of people around you. You could look at parents, you could look at um, society in general and think about um, how people use um, technology in uh, in the workplace and out of the workplace and how it affects behaviour. Does it affect the way that people talk? Does it affect the way that people write? Think how many people write in text language. Possibly you do yourself. Um, and then think of um, all the legal, moral ethical aspects around technology for instance when you sat in a classroom and a teacher's talking to you and you are allowed your mobile phone should you be using that mobile phone while they're talking should you be doing that in a conversation with somebody hmm. all things to talk about okay so let's just think of these leisure things I've, I've listed some positive and negatives I'm not going to um, go through them because they are there on the screen and there are far more than that but I did think it was worth listing these things um, just to give you some idea just in case a question did come up that you could effectively talk about things in a positive light and talk about things in a negative light so I've tried to group some things together there I'm sure there's more you can come up with but it really is about uh, being able to use the right language and being able to explain what you're talking about and there again in the negatives um, again it's back to that thing we're thinking about you know if you've thought about those things as I just said before then you can start to uh, bring to the fore some of those aspects that you consider positives or indeed negatives in this case through use of technology in leisure or leisure and then we get to the workplace obviously I've got more exposure to this than you have but if you look around you and look at jobs that yeah, family members are doing or places you go even in the supermarket or shopping online and things like that you can start to look at positives and negatives around this and um, everything is debatable so especially the second point creation of jobs around technology of course when you get to a negative is also the fact that technologies could be replacing jobs that that um, were previously done by people are now done by robots on a production line for instance so you might need less people you might need not more people and that's where a balanced argument could be put together if you got a long answer question for this so it's worth having a look at some of these positives and negatives as well